Hey everyone, today I'm going to walk you through the basics of bringing a character rigged in Maya into Unity. So here we have a very simple character. He's kind of weird looking. He looks like a Flubber or Pillsbury Doughboy. But I'm basically just using a simple character to illustrate this quick conversion from Maya to Unity. So the first thing you're going to want to do is select the character's geometry, modify, and then select freeze transformation. Go back to modify and center the pivot and then go to edit, delete by type, history. Now your character is ready to rig. So I'm going to fast forward through this process. Um, this is a very simple rig, but what you want at the end of this process is an animation that you'd like to bring in to Unity. I'm going to animate a simple idle animation for this character. Okay, so now we have this cool uh, little idle animation for this freaky dude. Um, let's begin the export. I found the best way to export to Unity is to separate out our exports by unique animations. This means having a base model export without any animation and then subsequent animation exports for each unique animation you'll be using in Unity. In our case, we'll only have two exports to do for the base model and the idle animation. But you can imagine having multiple exports for running, jumping, idle animations, shooting, ducking, you get the picture. So for this first export, select our rig and go to export all. And now we want to make sure that this animation checkbox is not selected. Make sure it's also exporting as type FBX and click export all. We'll name this goo guy. Now, to export the animated version, we'll scrub over the idle animation just to make sure it's to our liking. And we can select this entire timeline by holding down Shift and the middle mouse button. And once again, going to Export All. This time, check the animation box. And select Bake Animations. Make sure you're exporting the right frame set. In our case, this is 0 to 120. And we'll name this Guga at idle. This is just a standard naming convention for bringing the animations into Unity. So then we'll select export all. Now in Unity, we'll create a models folder in our model folder, we'll select Gugai and Gugai at idle and we'll bring them in. <clears throat> we can drag and drop Gugai into the scene and then we can tweak the camera position to our liking. So when we look at this main camera, this is what we're seeing in our scene view. And this is what you'll be viewing when you play the game. So we can kind of pull this around just right here. And I've noticed that this, uh, this model is actually backwards. So we can zero it out. You can also add a material to the model by creating a material, name this red. We 
You can just drag and drop it right on him. Next, we'll select the idle animation model in our models folder. And under animation, we'll make sure that loop time is selected and we'll apply this. And we can check to see that our animation is working in this little window right here. Now we'll create a new animator controller and we'll name this Gugai AC for animator controller. We'll double click this to open the animator window and we'll drag and drop our idle animation into the animator controller. Now back in our scene view, we'll select Guga, and in the inspector, we'll add a component of animator. And we'll drag this Guga AC into the controller. Now, when we press play to start our game, we should see our character with its basic idle animation. And this is just the start. From here, we can add effects, program in controller effects, and really get to the meat of our game development. The sky's the limit. That's how you bring a basic character animation from Maya into Unity. Thanks for watching. Thank mm -hmm. you.